Hi guys, welcome back. This is our lecture 11. Have you managed to figure out the command from previous lecture? Don't worry if you haven't since it was a tricky one. Let us see what the solution is. So if I navigate to my folder which we created in the previous video, we want to copy our file3.py which is our python program from folder directory to desktop directory. And if you tried to solve it but didn't manage to, we probably went with command cp file3.py desktop and if I press enter this command probably surprise you since it create an another folder or a part that mean another file in the folder directory called desktop. This is because it read our command as if you wanted to copy our file into another file in the same directory and we call that file desktop. This is just the how the command works in order to success to copy the file to desktop directory. We must run the command and specify the full path to the desktop as well as the name of the copy that we want. So it will look something like this. First we are going to delete this desktop file since we don't need it. And then you specify cp file3.py and we specify the full path to the desktop which is slash home slash miss hacker and then slash desktop after it. We also want to specify slash and type here the name that we want our copy to have. So just call it our copy.py. We add it dot .py since it is a python program. Press enter and you will see right away on the desktop we got our copy.py. Now we got that figure out. Let us talk about the few network commands that we will use a lot throughout this course. The most important command we already know is if config. We use if config command to get our IP address and what the output of this command is. Is all the network interfaces as well as IP addresses corresponding to those interfaces. If I run if config, this is the output of my if config command. For you, this will be different. Here I have ETHO interface which is my cable connection and it has a IP address and I can also see the loop back interface which is this LO which all of us should have and it will be an IP address 127.0.0.1 which is also a local host IP for this course. We will usually be interested in this ETHO IP address. If you have another interface called differently that is also fine you could have a different name interface if you for example we are connecting over wi-fi this ip address that we get right here is called local ip address which means it only works inside of our network to communicate with other devices that are also inside of our network there is also something called public ip address which we are going to talk about later in the course for now, just remember that if config outputs local IP address as well as our network interfaces. Another thing that we can get from my if config is our MAC address for a specific interface. So for the ETHO interface, here is my MAC address. And what MAC address is? is a unique identifier for every device on my local IP address that could be same in the for networks, for example, it is a great possibility that you also have the IP address starting 192.168.1. Well, the MAC address is unique for every device in the world. And in case you are new to all of this and don't have much previous experience with MAC addresses and IP addresses, you might be asking why do we need both of them? Well, let me explain like this. MAC addresses are unique and usable in communications with your neighbor machines or simply with machines that are on your network. Well, IP address is used to communicate over internet and they can also change. Remember it like this. MAC address tells you who you are and IP address tells you where you are. So that is the if config command and now that they think of this if config command there is a one more important command that I didn't show you and that you will see a lot which is sudo 
remember we used it it is just command which we use once to one to execute something as a root user and just to remind you our root user is something like an administrator it has highest privileges above all uh, all the other users with root user we can execute any commands that you want for example once we ran this if config command it told us command doesn't exit if i just type once again if config it will say command not found but after using sudo if config we manage to execute it that is because if config command must be ran with root privileges in order for it to execute throughout this course we will encounter many programs and many commands that will require sudo in order to run and sometimes there are quickly multiple commands at once that we must execute as a root user there is one trick you wouldn't have to type sudo before every command is to run at the beginning sudo and then su press enter and if you running sudo for this first time instead of one terminal session it will ask you for your password and then it will log in into the root terminal so everything you run from now on you will run as a root account right now i no longer need to specify sudo if config i can just specify if config and it will not tell me command not found it will execute since i am a root user as i said you right here it is no longer miss hacker it is now root if you want to exit out of this root terminal you simply just type exit and it will go back to your miss hacker terminal now this can also be applied files some files might be created only for root account to add it for example if you run the command sudo touch file one we press enter and if if for example type sudo nano file one type here hello there and press control o to save and control x to exit we want the able to add this file as a normal user without the sudo command or without the root account if i lower this terminal here is our file one and the reason why we can't add it it because this actual file right now has been opened and edited with root privileges and once we saved it we saved it as a root so right now if i try to nano it it will tell me that file is unwritable which means i cannot write anything well i mean i can't but if i try to save it it will tell me right here permission denied so let's close this 